All right, guys, welcome back. Got my engine covered up here. Try to keep it a little bit clean. So, happy Thanksgiving to all the people who celebrate Thanksgiving. It was uh, very cold this morning down here. It's 24 degrees overnight, but uh, it's warmed up considerably now. And I don't think I'm even going to have to run the heater in here, really. Got my some halfway thermal coveralls on and these these halogen lights here heated up pretty good but anyway today we're going to install the harmonic bouncer and probably the water pump and I did I was going to reuse this water pump but as you can see it's very rusty and for $25 I'll go ahead and buy a new one that way it ain't rusty and I've already got her painted up and ready to go on and I also got my intake out here. This is not the number for it. I think it's a 2701. It's actually the one I had on that 3 I took off. But I boogered up. This hole right here has got to be tapped and uh, put a helicoil in. And I boogered that up on mounting my carburetor. So we're going to work on that later. I got to get a helicoil set for that. So that won't be going on today. But uh, hopefully the water pump and the harmonic balancer, and I've had to charge batteries. My batteries was dead this morning. And so to put that on, we're just going to use a kit I got from AutoZone here. You really want to use one of these install kits putting these balancers on. Uh, you do not want to use your nut I mean your boat your harmonic bouncer boat you don't want to use that once you break that thing off in there it is pure heck so well this looks like a, almost a brand new one right here so uh, what we'll do we'll find our right adapter and then we'll screw that onto it that thing screws on but we'll figure it out it's been so long since I used it you know it's been used before pretty sure looks like a little bit of damage yeah it's been used this is a ball bearing this thing will spin and it'll ride well actually it rides on this nut right here I think but anyway there ain't no damn instructions with this thing I don't guess well I guess they are Yes, that's it. Yeah. So anyway, we'll uh, get our bouncer set up there and our kit, and I'll show you how it goes together. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to figure out which one of these is going to fit into our crank. And it appears to be this one that's been used before. So we'll screw that all the way in. And then I don't really say on the instructions how this goes together. This bolt goes through the end and it'll thread into that like that. I'm pretty sure this bearing is going to go flat side towards the harmonic bouncer and the part that moves is going to go towards the nut right here. So now we're ready to stick our balancer on there and get it started on our keyway. And we'll stick that in there and tighten this up. This is a 9 16th bolt, and uh, I guess it just needs to be snug. I don't reckon you need to really tighten it too bad. We've got a 15 inch crescent wrench here. And that should just push it right on up on that thing.
feels like that's all she's going to give me. It sure looks like it should go back about another quarter inch though. So. Alright, so if we look at this other one, I can see that there was about a quarter of an inch gap between this and where the uh, where it goes into the seal. You can see the seal of war two grooves in it. And looking back over here, that's about what kind of gap I've got between the front of the seal and that. So that's probably going to be all right. Now these you can put a sleeve on and uh, get by with it. You don't want to use one that's got a groove on it though. You want to either replace it or sleeve it. The biggest reason I want to replace this one is because this rubber, this rubber's cracked. And it's cracked all the way across here. And uh, it's not even in the front either. You can see it's deeper in here than this here. It's almost all the way flush right there. So that's telling me that this thing's supposed to be unbonded. And you don't want to run one like that. Uh, you want to you want to maintain a good bond uh, in that dampener because if that thing was to come loose, it's going to be a projectile into your fan blade and radiator, or it might even come off and sling it through the side of your truck. So now we'll find our nut, I mean our crank bolt and washer that goes on here, and get it torqued down. So here's our crank bolt with the big washer and you can kind of, maybe you can kind of tell that washer is a little bit deformed, but we'll get it in there. And here's where you gotta be fun with it. You got to get this thing torqued 60 foot pounds on a on a pre 80 on an 85 and older V8, a small block V8 at 60 on an 86 and newer, it's 70. So this is a two two piece rear seal, so I know it's a it's an 85 or older. I'm probably gonna turn it. Got no really no way of holding it. There it goes. Alright. But I'm gonna be using some uh RTV red just because it's handy. Uh, you can use whatever type you like. Some people uh like the blue, some people like the black. The ultra black's good. It's red. I've had the least amount of trouble with leaks using this red. And that's the reason I like it. I'm going to put a little bit on my finger. And I'm going to dab it like that. And then I'm going to start going down both sides of the gasket. I've got it on a little bit thicker than I need it. So I can probably I can probably do both gaskets. I don't know. I'm gonna turn it over and make sure I got it good on both sides. This stuff tends to wipe off if you ain't careful. I'm gonna stick one of them up here. Do the other one. And I'm probably gonna need just a little bit more. This stuff's kind of spreading around on me. I've rarely had a water pump 
gasket to leak using this method. Uh, and you don't get, you don't want to get a bunch of RTV on here. You'll have it going through your water coolant system. So just remember that you want it coated, but you don't want it just goopy. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the top two bolts in this pump and line it up. And right here is where you could really use a third hand. And I'll see on this one, I think my gaskets, well maybe gasket still where it needs to be. If you can't get your bolt started, you know your gasket's out of place. Alright. Now, I'm going to use my speed wrench. Alright, on this one, let's find the torque specs. Water pump bolts, 30 foot pounds. Don't seem like much, does it? I'm going to turn up that for a little to get into that one. this uh, RTV dry and then I'll go back and paint around it, paint over it, paint these bolts. And then we got to figure out what we're going to need here. I'm pretty sure it's just a plug in this one but I don't know about his truck. And this one's just got a plug. Some of them's got a heater hose adapter. Uh, that, that truck it came out of didn't. So uh, We'll have to look and see what his has got in it. Probably put a temporary plug in it, just to keep trash out. And uh, I guess we'll be ready to uh, put our intake on just as soon as I get my helicoil set. So until then, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.